Today we're talking about the top three best free video editing software. So this is part three of a YouTube series called How to Grow a YouTube Channel Fast. In this series, I help you grow your channel by giving you tips and tricks that I use myself. And guess what? YouTubers need to edit their videos. And most people use some basic video editing software like iMovie or Windows Movie Maker, which Ew! If you use them, shame on you. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, those are good enough to start with, but at some point you're gonna want your videos to look more professional. And this is what we're doing in this video. Today I'll be talking about the top 3 best free video editing softwares that are professional, and I'll be talking about their features, and I'll be giving you a list of pros and cons of each free video editing software, so then you can make an informed decision based on your preference. And before we start, I want to announce that I have made a Discord server for our community, so please come on in, let's have a chat, the link for that will be in the description. Okay, the first free video editing software on our list today is Shortcut. Shortcut is a free, open source, cross-platform video editor. So it doesn't matter if you're on Mac, Windows or Linux for some reason. What would you be on Linux, you weirdo? Just get him, please don't hack me. What I liked about Shortcut the most, right off the gate, is how the installer file size is really small. I mean, it's only 79 megabits. And as my girlfriend says, size doesn't really matter. Just get in again. I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> so don't let the small size installer fool you. This program is packed with useful features. It supports up to 4K video, which is amazing. It has plenty of video effects like transitions, zoom ins, you name it. You can even speed up a video or slow it down. And don't even get me started on how many video and audio filters there is in this program. I mean, it is crazy. I mean, there must be like a hundred of them. I played around with this program for a while and I can safely tell you this is one of the easiest programs you could use from this list. It still receives regular update to this day which is amazing. Another neat feature that I liked about it is this program is not demanding. As long as you have a processor that has a clock speed above 2 GHz, your PC will run shortcut just fine. It has no watermark obviously. So, there would be no annoying transparent logo on your video after rendering it. Another thing that I liked about Shortcut is that it is really easy to use. I mean, the moment I opened it, I know exactly what to do and how to do it. And I'm not even a pro at editing. I'm just a normal guy. So if you're one of those people who, who are making the transition from iMovie or Windows Movie Maker, and you want to transition to Shortcut, the transition should be smooth. How many times can I say transition? iMovie, Windows Movie Maker and Shortcut have pretty much the same interface so the user experience should be similar. But the good thing is, Shortcut has more features than iMovie or Windows Movie Maker combined. One thing that I didn't really like about Shortcut is that it didn't have optimized profiles for specific devices, which is really not a big deal, especially if you just want to do some light editing for your YouTube videos. Shortcut is seriously one of the best free video editors out there. Next on our list, we have DaVinci Resolve 16. Now this one is actually one of my favorites. DaVinci Resolve is actually the closest free video editing software to Premiere Pro on our list. When you first open it, the first thing you're gonna notice, other than how intimidating it looks if you are a new editor, is that how similar it looks to Premiere Pro. Now if you didn't know, Premiere Pro is a premium editing software. It goes for like $240 and DaVinci Resolve pretty much does the same job and it's free. It has a lot of windows and buttons which could be a little intimidating at first, but believe you me, once you take a deep breath, settle down, and actually dig into the program, you'll be amazed over how many features this program has to offer. Everything from color grading, image stabilization, phase detection, I mean the potential is huge. And you get access to all the features I mentioned and more. And here, did I mention that it's free? DaVinci Resolve doesn't cost you a single dime to download. I'll be leaving the link in the description. But sadly, it's not all positive with this program. First of all, you're gonna need a pretty beefy computer to be able to run this program without facing any lag or crashing issues. Ideally, you're gonna need an i7 processor, 60 gigs of RAM, and a graphics card with at least 4 gigs of VRAM. So basically, if you have anything newer than a 2012 MacBook Pro, you should be fine to run DaVinci Resolve without any problems. Another thing that I don't really like about the free version of DaVinci Resolve is that it really doesn't allow for 4K support or HDR support in the timeline. A problem you're not really gonna care about if you're just editing videos for YouTube. And it doesn't give you video a huge watermark when you are rendering the project. The only downside that really matters with DaVinci Resolve is the learning curve. If you're just making the transition from iMovie or Windows Movie Maker, you will face a huge learning curve. But trust me, the skill you develop from learning this program will unlock a huge potential. One 
for your videos and second it will open the door for you to later on upgrade to Premiere Pro since the interface and the user experience of DaVinci Resolve is closely similar to Premiere Pro. Anyways I would definitely recommend getting DaVinci Resolve if you are into filmmaking or if you want to just edit YouTube videos professionally. But if for some reason none of the two free video editing softwares that I mentioned previously satisfied your needs, this one right here is like a combination of the previous two programs that I mentioned. In a sense that is really easy to use and it also is a professional editing software. This baby is packed with professional quality tools that will make your clips shine baby. It is fast, it is flexible and once you get the hang of it, it is really easy to use. It has a real time video effects which Shortcut did not have, but the one thing that it shares with Shortcut is the small installer size. This one is also 72 megabytes, which is amazing how they do it. So you basically can download it within like two minutes and start editing your project. One feature that I really enjoyed about Lightworks, you can capture your voice and your camera interface within the program and they will be automatically imported to your timeline for you to edit. That is a huge time saver. But a few things that I did not really like about it is the fact that the program is free but with a catch. You are gonna have to reactivate your free license that they give you once every 7 days, which could be really annoying, especially if you're trying to use the program on a regular basis. Thankfully that process is really easy to do. Another thing that I'm not really a big fan of with this program, at the start of using this program it could be a little bit confusing. Lightworks has a really unique interface, but thankfully as you actually use it more you will get used to it and you will learn more about it. I like that you will unlock the full potential of this program. Now that has been my list of the best free video editing softwares. Now to recap, Shortcut is a really good program to use if you are a beginner to editing and want to make a smooth transition from iMovie or Windows Movie Maker to a more professional program. It has a small file size and a lot of features and most importantly it is really easy to use. DaVinci Resolve 16 is the program to choose if you are already experienced in the editing scene or if you want to learn editing the right way. It is really similar to Premiere Pro in the features and in the user experience. This one right here is a full blown professional editing software as I said before it has been used to edit movies. So download this one if you are into filmmaking and want a serious program to edit with. Lightworks on the other hand is like a mix of the previous two I mentioned. It is really easy to use and it has a small installer size. And I guess you could say it is a professional editing software. The only downside with Lightworks is the interface. It is unique and you have to learn it separately. Anyways guys, this will wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. Join our community by hitting that subscribe button. Also join our Discord server. The link for that will be in the description. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.